What's our goal here? After we've tasted 10 taco trucks, what are we gonna be able to say? Are we finding the best taco truck in LA? I or think we're looking for the best taco truck experience. Also, we should probably, have you established our credentials? No. See, I'm not an expert. You're definitely not an expert. I'm definitely not a taco expert. In terms of authenticity, I am half Mexican, though I wouldn't consider myself a, a, a reputable verifier of, Do you speak Spanish? of, of authenticity. I, I speak un poquito. I'm not trying to, you know, pee on your guys' legs here and tell you it's rain kind of thing. I'm trying to be as forthcoming and transparent as I can on this transparent taco journey. Wait, can we add tea to that? Tantalizing transparent taco journey. It's too many teas. Trip. The tantalizing taco trip. Tantalizing transparent taco trip. Uh -huh. That's four teas. We just love tacos, man. Yeah. That's all I know. So we're gonna do five trucks today and then five trucks tomorrow. Ten trucks total. So that'll explain why we change clothes in the middle of the episode. Exactly. Got it. First stop, La Estrella Tacos. It's La Estrella. Oh. La Estrella. Yeah, like stars. All right, so it's about 30 minutes away. Let's go. Four tacos, two pastor and, two. pastor and two asada. Yeah. Everything yeah. <laughs> you only take cash. Oh, I want to take cash. Okay, which one are you going first? I'm going for asada first. Okay. All right, let's do it. Oh man, I find asada to be a uh, lacking flavor sometimes. This has good flavor. How's the tortilla for you? The tortilla is like standard. I wouldn't say it's like anything spectacular, but you know what? When you have meat that's this good, you don't really need to do anything too fancy with a tortilla, huh? Now this is odd. This pastor kind of has the quality and texture of carnitas. Can't think of another way to describe it other than um, than shredded. It's still good, but this definitely feels like it was coming out of like a crock pot. Is it worth the drive though? I don't think I'd voyage over here just if I was craving this. But if this was in my neighborhood, I would come here all the time. I would definitely eat six of those. I'm also a pig. Should we get more tacos? Uh, from here? No, next place. Oh, because okay, I was about to say, we got like four more trucks, man. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. All and, right. uh, I'm eager to toot, toot. get back on that train if you know what I'm saying. Let's go. What do we got for a uh, for a stop two on the taco tour here? Ricky's Fish Tacos, half a mile away, one minute. We've been here before, so if we can't find this, that just means we're bad navigators and not so much uh, commentary on the taco truck itself. We did almost run out of gas in Las Vegas twice. Any second now, we're gonna stop moving. The shell's there. I'm gonna coast through the stop sign. <laughs> Oh wait, it's right here, I can see it. It's right here. Okay. It's under the bridge. Like a troll. Trolls are on the bridge, right? Not under. No, trolls are under bridges. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get the uh, Ricky special as I always do here. Look at that work of art right there. Uh, Let's do it. Good mouthfeel on this. You have like the hot, crispy fish and shrimp, mm -hmm. but then you have the fresh, cold ingredients of cabbage and you know tomatoes and peppers. Mm -mm -mm. It's the batter. It's just perfect. It's crispy and crunchy and flaky, but not oily. It almost tastes healthy. It's because it's so fresh. The truck is just painted with praise for itself. You're just like, all right, don't sprain a muscle jerking yourself off. And then you have the taco. Now you're just like, oh, that's a confident truck. The only problem is that these are expensive. But one taco is the amount of like three normal tacos at any other truck. I have a friend from out of town who I showed uh, this taco truck. And when she came back into town, the first thing she asked to do was to go to Ricky's Fish Tacos again. That's how goddamn good it is. Bless you, Ricky's. Take that, Grauman's Chinese Theater, Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah. Ricky's Fish Tacos, top billing. If we can make Ricky's Fish Tacos the number one tourist attraction in LA, that would actually make me, me pretty so upset. make me pretty upset because then there's be uh, there'd be long lines. Oh, that's true. All right, no, it's horrible. Nobody come. Delete here. this footage. Delete yeah. this footage. This is God. <laughs> Bye, Ricky's. We love you. Is the best. Ricky's is the best. Uh, so we uh, we went to the wrong truck. Yeah, there's two taco trucks. Both begin with the word name Marisco's. Let's it's, eat it though. Why not? All right, let's try it. Pretty goddamn good. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little mushy. It is a little mushy. All right, I'm not gonna eat more. I'm gonna save my room for the real stuff, the real thing. I love tacos. Cheers. Cheers. 
It's so much better. It's a lot better than the other one. <laughs> no offense to the other truck. This is just better. Crispy amount of crisp. What's in the center? It is mush. It's not just shrimp in the middle. I don't know. It's like a seafood medley around it. The cold avocado and the cold sauce on top of the piping hot fried shell is so good. How do you think they even make that? So what my my grandma does, she takes the tortilla, clamps it around the meat, and puts like toothpicks in it, and then she deep fries oh. it. There's a bee right by the knee. <laughs> I would probably drive to get this just because I don't know any of any... <sighs> Sorry. Ooh, that's killing me. I think I would drive to this truck just because I don't know any of any other truck that serves tacos this way. Well, we know of one other truck that serves tacos this way. All right, let's get out of here. Getting wrecked. <laughs> This is a, this is also a nice just portrait into you know, what it's like to drive around in LA. Just getting reamed daily by traffic. Well, thank you Brent for taking me all the way down to Carson so I could see the outside of a Galaxy game and Troncho's Tacos, which we can't get to unless we purchase tickets to said Galaxy game. Uh, glad this made the list. <laughs> so this is Brent on the phone with Choncho's Tacos, trying to see if they uh, that's Choncho's Tacos right there. So we drove all the way down from Hollywood to try your guys' tacos, and we're wondering if we could just buy two and just eat them outside over here. Okay, do you want me to meet you down by the gate here or at the entrance? Oh, okay, we'll meet you at the front gate. Okay, thanks, man. <laughs> I may have three taco trucks worth of tacos in my stomach, but I am far from done, sir. Okay, we can't film inside though. That's fine. Well, see you guys that. later. Go be my taco truck. Act natural like a taco truck. How different is this experience right now? This experience, I would say accessibility got to be a one out of 10. That's not fair to Chancho. That's probably not fair to Chancho. That's so, more a commentary on you, sir. <laughs> All right, let's eat them. Great crunch to this taco. Yeah, it's really good. This is the McDonald's of taco trucks. But that's not a, that's not even like no, a diss. That's not a diss at all. It's Americanized for sure, but you know what? I'm not mad at it. When we set out to do this journey today, we weren't trying to find the most authentic taco in LA. We were trying to find the best experience because we're a fan of tacos of all shapes and sizes. And uh, this is a great taco. Ooh, that carnitas is bumping. What's your favorite part? The shell, the meat? I, I think the shell. Not to keep going back to my grandma's tacos. This isn't like my grandma's tacos because it's clearly just a hard shell. This is my grandma's tacos. It's, yeah, um, and it looks like these are, you know, homemade shells, not just, you know, you go to Albertsons and get like a 10 pack. You know what's interesting? I've never had pork inside a hard shell taco. That's true. Yeah. What a taco filled day. Taco train away. Toot toot. Are we going now? Okay. Yeah. How are you doing, like, stomach-wise? Surprisingly, my stomach is, like, still ready to go. Yeah. What's up next, big guy? I was my stomach really... calls me big guy. Yeah. My stomach is the only person that calls me big guy. Uh, ah, f We missed the, we missed the exit, didn't we? It's so hard to know where to go. God damn it. There's a map in your hand. All right, so we should be here on, well, on this street. I'm not sure if it's left or right. What's this one called? El Jorge's? Jorge's. That's not it. Would it be rude to ask another taco truck I if think they so. know we're <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, we're calling it. Well, we didn't find Jorge's tacos tonight, yeah. but but, uh, but tomorrow we might find it, right? Yeah. Are we gonna cut to a Shutterstock uh, footage of uh, the sun going down and then the sun rising? Cue Shutterstock footage of sunset over Los Angeles. Hell yeah. Do I need a sunrise as well? I think then the sun rises. Oh, oh maybe a cafe, like coffee. Like oh yeah, people drinking coffee. Yeah, Someone yeah, walking yeah, yeah. like on the side of the street. That's good. And then now after all of that is done, we will cut back to you driving in a new outfit tomorrow. Quickly. I found out why we couldn't find Jorge's Tacos last night. Oh yeah? And it's because they're not open Wednesdays. Who's not open for business on hump day? Maybe they go out so hard on Taco Tuesday that they're just like, we need a break on Wednesday, man. All right, first place we're going to is Awaxka on Wheels. That can't be how you pronounce that, by the way. Awaxka? Is that, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, I think so. All right, we have to walk to this one through a, through a business, business complex. I asked him we're getting Awaxkan steak tacos. That's Awaxkan what they're going for. Yes. All right, great. Look, there's a waterfall over there with a seagull on top of it. Taco cheese. 
good. The meat is very savory. It's juicy. The meat's the best part. Tortilla is very subpar though. Really? I, I find the tortilla to be okay. A very juicy, savory meat. Almost kind of like a cream barbecue meat sliced up. You know what? I just dig tacos, baby. That's what I'm here for. Maybe it's that the tortilla is so big. Like this probably looks like a super wimpy taco. You're a super wimpy taco. Okay, it's still, yeah, it's still taco. It's still delicious. <laughs> it's all this trash talk, and yet he's chomping away. Would you drive for these tacos, though? No, but if I saw them, hell yeah, am I gonna pony up and buy some? And with that, let's uh, head to the next one. Yeah. We, we, we're on a budget. We're on, oh, we're on a budget. We're uh, on a time budget. Yeah, we're on a time we're budget. We're running out of daylight go. here. We gotta go. Funnily enough, the taco truck that we're going to next is actually at the office. A little bit of a blunder on our part. We thought we were gonna have to drive to Santa Monica. <laughs> Turns out Kogi actually came to us. Holy a tree just fell down in front of us. That's LA. Okay. Take uh, two spicy pork tacos and then two short rib tacos. It's a fusion taco, mm -hmm. and it's basically what I am. Half Mexican, half Asian. Look at how full this taco is. It's a full party in here, mm -hmm. and they're all having a great time. Yeah. Hold on to your butts. Mm. God, just a delight. Everything is just spot on perfect. There's so much greenery. Normally, I don't really appreciate it when someone puts an entire garden in my burrito. Definitely not my tacos. Here, I would say that the, the, the veggies aren't even sidekicks. I'd say they're mm. 1A and 1B with the meat. Everyone is singing in an equal volume and it's a harmony that I enjoy. Mm. 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 It's a little bit on the pricier side, but you are paying for a fusion experience, so. I think Koji was one of the first places to do the fusion of Korean and Mexican together. Well, my parents did it a while ago, you well, know what I'm saying? Oh <laughs> Gross. <God. laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a, that's a stop too. <laughs> All right, so we're headed to Leo's Taco Truck on South La Brea. Now, Leo's Taco Truck is a, a well-known name in the LA taco community. It's so much of an institution. Do you know what other white guy and Asian guy went to this truck, taco truck that works at BuzzFeed? Oh, is it the Worth It Boys? That is so good. It's so simple. It's perfect. Well, well, a little Steven Lim. Well, well, well. A little, a little taco Steven. fact. Taco <laughs> fact. Let me do my taco dance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's no. my Steven Lim impression. Ooh. After we go there, they're not going to say it's those Worth It boys that came here. They're going to say Ryan and Brent on their taco tour yes. came here. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, we'll have to make that into a sticker. We'll find a better name because it's kind of long for a sticker. We'll make it shorter. Well, we'll see you at the taco truck, huh? Yeah. Let's cut to that. Now, this is a filled taco. That's a stacked taco. It's that small, is. it's stout. Yes. But it is uh, it is very packed. It's $1.25. Okay. Okay. It almost kind of shifts over to the, the spectrum of, uh, of sausage, like chorizo. Mm. It's very tasty meat. A lot of people claim this is the best pastor in LA. Front even says the best tacos El Pastor. Don't know about that. It might be the best for the price. For the My price, God. perhaps. The flavor profiles in this one are a little bit different than typical oh. pastor. Yeah, we get it. You drive a motorcycle. Everyone's friggin' impressed. Yeah. Anyways. I keep going, eh, it's mediocre, and then I remember the price. Holy cow, for $1.25, that's a damn good taco. Alrighty, next one is called Huitala Coche. It's like some sort of fungus corn thing. What? Hell yeah, let's download some fungus right into my body. I wanna have three arms by the time this day is done. Two orders of the lamb tacos and then two orders of the huetaloche. How do you how do you say that? Uh, that's called a uh, Mexican drum roll with the coche. This, this is a lamb taco, and this one over here, I believe, is Mexican truffle, from what he said. Interesting. It's got a sweet flavor, but that's pretty much it. There's not really a spice. It kind of just tastes like grilled onion on a tortilla. That's kind of what it tastes like, actually. It's pretty accurate. What the hell? This tastes like something that you would put on top of another taco. I'm eating condiments right now, but for me, I need some meat on my taco, mm. and that's why I'm heading over to Lamb Town. Mm. Okay, that is very good. Oh. Holy shit, that is succulent. Oh, there is so much love that went into this taco. What's that sauce flavor? I'm not quite sure. Jesus is tears. Finger licking good, literally. Are we driving to this taco truck again? I probably would. It, it, it knows its niche and it's, uh, it's nailing it. Two more. Dos mas. Let's do it. 
It's 7.30 now. Sunset's going down. We have two more You're not even checks. wearing a watch. I don't know why you did that. <laughs> it's just habit. Okay. Um, and we're headed to Taco Zone. Taco Zone? Oh, look, they're, oh, look, they're shooting a movie. L.A., baby. LA. City of the stars. <laughs> oh, I wanted to turn left on Montana. Do you see it? It's mostly there. But, oh, there it is, Taco Zone. I see it. Do you? Yeah. So this is what they are first. All right. Ran on down to Taco Town. Dry. Dry. <laughs> you just sucked all the saliva out of my mouth. Like a desert now. So this meat needs a glass of water. Yeah. And so do I. Yeah. Let's try the pastor, which is the main singer for me. Whoa. Cinnamon? Oh, yeah. Oh. This is... I'm doing a little taco dance, baby. Taking me down to Taco Town. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good pass door. I don't yeah. like it. I love it. What no, the hell is you... going on in my mouth right now? What's happening? It tastes like I'm eating a gingerbread cookie in meat form. This is pass door that's gone on a whimsical adventure through the, the magic cherry forest, and it's come out as cinnamon. My mind is blown. That is the weirdest tasting pastor I've ever had in my life. I feel like I'm being punked right now. Is there another is there another camera crew that's gonna pop out behind this Prius right here? All right, would you drive here again? Yeah, I would have to drive here to taste it again because I, I've never tasted it like this before. You know what I just realized? It's not Taco Zone, it's Tacos Zone. There's an S at the end of tacos and before oh, the Z. Oh, Tacos Zone. You don't need to put the S there. We know there's plenty of tacos in the Taco Zone. Right. Out. All right, one more. What, taco the, what is Woo going on? Oh, that's it. There it is. Jorge's tacos. Boom. Yeah. That was easy. All right, let's park this bad boy and finish this up. So we have a uh, mesquite grilled carne asada. That's what they're known for, right? That's mesquite grilled carne asada. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the al pastor. I'm going to go pastor first. Oh, that is juicy heaven. The pinto beans actually make me feel like I'm eating a burrito. I would give it seven out of 10 pinto beans. All right, let's try this mesquite grilled al pas um, asada. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was about to say, this tastes like asada, but then a second profile hit me and it did taste very mesquite-y. Holy it's shit. sleeper mesquite. Got this smoky finish, even almost like a spice to it. It's kind of making my tongue kind of tingle. Yeah. I think that's why it has that gourmet meaty finish because it feels like something would be, that would be served in a restaurant, except it's on a, a tortilla. Yeah, 100%. And I'm eating it in, a, in a parking lot, so. 100%. With you. <laughs> All right, we're so. out of late, so we're gonna do yeah. our final thoughts on our way as we're on our way back to the then Brent's gonna ruin his pants. Or if we make it to the office alive, <laughs> we will do final thoughts. That's in the, the car. thing you want to see be, uh, from the person that's gonna be behind the wheel. All right, let's go. Let's go. This is the, this is the moment you've been waiting for. The winner of the top ten taco truck in LA. Oh boy, I haven't prepared anything in my mind. Is what? Uh. Marisco's Yaliscos. That's the one that keeps coming back. <sighs> Marisco Jalisco was goddamn good. I'm picking it because I can't even remember all the taco places we've been to. Like that's a, the one that stands out, yeah. Exactly, and that's the one that I am craving again. <sighs> you know what? I'm going Marisco Jalisco as well. Yes! Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Synergy. I, I'll say that was number one. It was followed closely with Kogi nipping at its heels, and then after that, uh, Ricky's Fish Tacos nipping at those heels. See, they all have their own merits, you know? Yeah. I'm not here to say one is better than the other, yeah. or that you shouldn't go to this one, or you should go to that one. Try all of these joints out, they're all delicious. I think what I learned today is that uh, if it's in the shape of a taco, I'm probably gonna like it for the most part. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing all 10 no. in the way we did it no. because I'm physically and mentally exhausted right now. <laughs> There's sweat coming out of places I didn't know I could sweat from. I'm sweating out of my knees. Well, that's that then. That's that. I'm sure you have an out there somewhere. Something taco related? Uh... Let's cut the video out there. And <laughs> Should we do something uh, taco related and roll credits? Right.